A time of trouble. Daniel's prophecy has one prediction not yet realized. He declares there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Jesus confirmed this prophecy and added the words, No, nor ever shall be. If a great time of trouble must come, it is comforting to know that it will be the last of its kind. And this evidently will be, because its lessons will be so severe as to make no repetition of them necessary. Furthermore, according to the Bible, upon the ashes of that time of trouble, Messiah's kingdom will be established with full power and glory to accomplish his great work of human blessing and uplift from sin and death. Christ will reign. Satan will be bound. The prophecy declares that while men are running to and fro and knowledge is increased, the wise of God's people will understand the divine plan as never before. The mystery will be finished. The seals will be broken. The dawn will appear. Jesus' parable of the virgins applies to the end of this age. It declares that amongst God's people, all virgins, there will be some foolish. Only the wise will trim their lamps, examine the Bible, and understand. We need not detail the coming trouble. Everybody sees it. It will be a battle between giants. On the one side, financial giants trust, etc. On the other side, gigantic labor organizations. Both parties are preparing. Both parties expect to fight to the finish. Both parties expect to win. Both parties will be disappointed, for both will lose. The Bible predicts that the results will be most terrible, anarchy, a time of trouble such as never was. We can but imperfectly surmise the details of the trouble, but the scriptures imply that it will include social, financial, political, and religious institutions. The anarchy of the French Revolution and the anarchy which overthrew the Jewish nation A.D. 70 are scriptural illustrations of what may be expected soon. The Bible counts meekness and justice as safeguards.